The first step we're going to cover is creating the catalog entity itself. To do this, we're going to go into the library icon, and then we're going to go looking for the proper fitting we'd like to use to create an access door out of. And what we're going to do here is maximize our library screen. We're going to go to the ductwork libraries, and we're going to select the fitting out of the ASI library for this tutorial. We're going to go down to straight duct, and we're going to pick this CJT3 fitting. And what we need to do is first create a catalog name for the catalog item we're going to use. So what we're going to do here is hit the green create a new catalog button. We're going to name it PCAT access doors and hit enter. I always like to name the catalog name with all capital letters. It makes it easier for reporting later if you use the same uppercase and lowercase. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new item inside the PCAT access doors catalog. And here what we're going to do is we're going to call that PCAD access door. And this one we're going to use a little bit different. We're going to do one uppercase, one lowercase letter. And we're going to hit enter. So we've created a new catalog and a new item. Now what we need to do is pick the parameters of this item. Now the way we'd like to make this access door is we'd like to just put this entity on the drawing. We'd like it to get an auto tag. But we don't want it to follow all the specifications that happen to be working on the straight duct fittings at that time. I don't want flanges on my access door. I don't want anything to change. The only parameter I want to modify on my access door, because all we're going to do in this tutorial is order them when we're done using them, is to be able to change the width and depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the width and depth to 12 and 12. That's just going to be the default, where it's going to start every time I go to use the access door. But we're going to leave these parameters unlocked so that we can modify them. For length, we're just going to make it one inch long because that's all we're going to want to see on our drawing for this access door, just one inch long. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these connector parameters. You can see they happen to be locked. Always pay attention to make sure the parameters are locked before you go to change, locked or unlocked. And now what we're going to do is say the connector is going to be raw edge or raw on both. And we're going to do that, which basically means we're just going to get a flat raw edge. And the rest of these technology parameters are not going to make a difference because we're not going to be downloading these access doors to Practicam. We're not fabricating them. We just want to order them and get a report and have them show up on the drawing and get tagged properly. So we don't have to really worry about what information is necessarily in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to lock down all the parameters. We're going to click on this little button here. And that locks them all down. And we're just going to unlock the ones we want to change. And that's just going to be width in and depth in for this particular tutorial. You're going to notice that I've got the fabrication level under order as well, which is another way of making sure later on that we don't download these fittings. So what we've done is we've created an access door item. And now what we need to do is we need to drag that item and put it on our drawing by sticking it in one of our bins. And then we're going to pull it out and attach it to this duct. So we're going to go into the bin. We're going to click on the PCAT access door catalog item we've just built. And you're going to notice that it's not following any specifications because all the parameters are locked down. All I can do is change width and depth unless I decide to unlock the parameters, but we're not going to want to. This means that I've only got two, two choices to answer, width in and depth in, when I go to make this fitting. So we're going to leave it as 12 by 12, and now we're going to hit T for tap. And we're going to click on the duct and we're going to attach it as a tap. And we're just going to press OK. And of course, the tutorials on how to work with taps. Now what we're going to do is just put this in isometric view. And we're going to take a look at what we have. So what we've got here is a little piece of duct, which is going to represent an access door on our drawing. And we're going to be able to report this entity by its catalog name, PCAT access doors, later on. Now one thing you'll notice already is it's getting a tag. And the reason why is currently we have not set the auto tags for the fitting we use to catalog this to skip this fitting. And we're going to do that when we get to the tagging process. But part one is designing the catalog item.